Okay, um, Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Welcome again to our next lesson. Okay, for today's lesson, we are doing a form for textbook, which is a full plus plus, and we are in unit eight. Okay, so we are doing reading today. So reading uh, 8B, page, if I'm not mistaken, page, wait, uh, what page are we now? We are on the page 188, okay? So we are doing reading and the topic or the title of our reading would be installation art, okay? So the, the topic would be installation art. So now let's focus on the reading. Uh, let's do the discussion part first. Let's do that. Okay, discuss. So let's do the discussion. How often do you visit art gallery? Okay, now, apa maksud art gallery? What do you think art gallery means? Gallery adalah tempat yang mana, di mana like orang, um, dia pamerkan dia punya uh, seni, dia punya craft. Okay, dia punya... Craft lah apa yang dia hasilkan. Contoh macam lukisan ataupun craft tangan or those kind of thing lah. So how often do you visit uh, art gallery? If in Malaysia, if I would say um, some of the famous one would be in the, in Malacca, we found a lot of we could we could find a lot of like art galleries there. And if I'm missing, I have never been to um, art gallery in Penang, but I do believe that we do have art galleries in Penang and also obviously in our capital city, which is Kuala Lumpur. So there are a lot of art galleries actually. And I visited, I visited if I'm mistaken, I visited, I visited some in uh, Malacca. So like the art street, the street art, like not the street art, sorry, the uh, street where you have uh, a lot of like uh, galleries, art galleries there. So. Uh, I visited one of them, one of it. So it's fascinating looking at the drawings, the paintings, those kind of things. It's very interesting. Now, look at the second bullet. Do you know of any famous works of art? Okay, do you know any? Awak kenal tak? Work of art. Work of art means to say uh, like uh, hasil tangan, like hasil craft tangan atau hasil kesenian daripada anyone famous. Famous. Okay, antara yang paling famous, I think uh, Leonardo da Vinci, the one yang apa, Mona Lisa, remember Mona Lisa? The Mona Lisa painting, and then uh, these are all, uh, orang kata apa, uh, Western um, arts. We also have like Malaysian arts kan, awak pernah ingat tak we have um, Datuk Lat, if I'm mistaken, Lat kan? One of the famous one is the Kampung Boy series. Okay, the Kampung Boy series is one of the famous um, uh, drawing or like arts that we have in Malaysia. Actually, there's a lot more uh, uh, in Malaysia, but um, you could go and research a lot of it. Lah. Okay, uh, we go to B. Let's read B first. Okay, uh, let's uh, go to B here. Read the text quickly and answer the question, choose A, B, C or D. Okay, quickly. Quickly maksud dia dengan secara sekilas lah. So, I've done the reading. Okay, I've done the reading. So, kita cuba baca dulu, kita tengok what what should be, what could be the answer. What is the purpose of this text? Apa purpose? Apa maksud purpose? Purpose bermaksud tujuan. Okay, purpose bermaksud tujuan. So, what is the purpose of this text? Okay, what is the purpose of this text? What do you think? The purpose could be A, to encourage the reader, to encourage the reader, encourage, how much encourage? Encourage means kita nak garap, sorry, garap lah, galakkan, okay, kita nak galakkan uh, readers, kita nak galakkan readers to take up art as hobby, to take up. Take up maksudnya kita mengambil ataupun kita like um, kita use it, not use it, like kita buat, kita do it. Okay? Take up as a hobby untuk menjadikan, uh, untuk membuatkan, untuk menggalakkan uh, pembaca kita um, orang kata apa, uh, buat 
seni, kesenian sebagai hobi. Okay. To criticize. Okay. Mengkritik the work of install, installation arts. Okay. Untuk kritik installation art punya hasil-hasil. Uh, no, not really. To show the pros and cons of installation art. Okay. Pros adalah kelebihan. Cons adalah kekurangan ataupun kelemahan dia. So, I guess no, they are not talking about that. To educate the reader about installation arts. Okay, looking briefly, bila kita baca briefly, yeah, it it, it is trying to um, educate. In, in uh, What does it mean by educate? Maksudnya kita mendidiklah mengajar uh, pembaca uh, berkenaan dengan installation art. We need to say a general idea what is actually installation art. Nak, nak kenalkan uh, korang, uh, nak korang lah, awak semua, kita berkenaan dengan installation arts. Okay, so now we are learning about installation arts. So let's proceed with the reading. Okay, let's proceed with the reading. Okay, with the installation arts. So before we go to the, uh, the, the reading part, if you could see here in our uh, textbook, uh, if you could see in our textbook, we have three picture, like, like three picture. This one picture, we have another picture here. And then we have another picture here. We have the weather project. We have the tra traffic light tree and also the melting men. Okay, so mel weather. Weather maksudnya cuaca. Cuaca project, project cuaca probably. And then kita ada traffic light tree. Tree adalah pokok. We're talking about tree now. Tree adalah pokok. So tree. Now melting men. Melt, melt. Cair. So Kita tak tahu apa maksud melting man. So, these are all probably arts yang berkaitan dengan, uh, mesti ada, probably ada relation dengan installation arts. So, we need to understand uh, after we do the reading, after we we uh, do the reading, then we understand this, all the three arts here. So, let's start with the reading, okay? Okay. Can you guys see? Okay. So, uh, think of the last time you visited an art gallery. Did any of the following cross your mind? Okay. Think of the last time you visited. Okay. Fikir uh, kali terakhir awak melawat uh, galeri seni. Did any of the following cross your mind? Ada tak benda-benda, benda apa perkara-perkara ni, benda yang berkaitan ni, following. Following maksudnya ah benda-benda ni lah. Okay, cross your mind. Maksudnya lintas. Lintas awak punya minda. Maksudnya berfikir. Awak ada terlintas tak ada fikiran awak. Okay, dia kata, If only art weren't so boring, I wish I hadn't come here. Paintings, paintings. If only artists would create something more exciting. Okay, these are all the lines given by the, dia kata, the, uh, is this, uh, are these the things that uh, come across your mind? Contoh macam ini. So, and then ada lagi this one, and then this one. These are all the things yang come across your mind. Mungkin akan come across your mind. Contoh, if only art weren't so boring. Uh, jik, uh, kalaulah seni-seni uh, ni, craft-craft ni tak uh, begitu membosankan. I wish I hadn't come here. Um, all, uh, apa kata like... Uh, if only saya tak datang ke tempat ni. Like, so boring kan? So, uh, like... Um, why do I come here? Kenapa saya berada di sini? That, those kind of idea lah. And then paintings, paintings. Okay, paintings maksudnya lukisan lah, lukisan. So lukisan, lukisan je. If only artists would create something more exciting. Kalau lah, um, orang kata apa, um, pelukis-pelukis ni ataupun uh, ahli seni ni um, membuat benda yang lagi exciting. Okay, boleh buat benda yang lagi menarik lah. Ha, dia, dia duduk cakap pasal perkataan benda yang menarik ni. Okay, now, let's continue. Think, uh, sorry, uh, well, times are changing. Okay, well, times are changing. They're talking about, well, times are changing. Okay. A growing number of artists have chosen to challenge the traditional concept of art. Okay, now, they cakap pasal, a growing number. So, ramai sekarang ni, artis-artis have chosen untuk mem, dah, dah memilih untuk challenge. Maksudnya challenge ni, meaning to say dia nak cabar. 
Dia nak cabar the traditional concept of art. Meaning to say, yang traditional punya. Not just painting, not just drawing. Tapi dia nak challenge this idea of like, uh, arts hanyalah drawing, arts hanyalah painting. So, dia nak cabar this concept. Okay. Now, kita sambung eh. They believe that artists should be permitted to express their activity, sorry, creativity in any way they please. Okay. Dia kata mereka percaya, mereka believe that they wanted sebenarnya to believe that artis ni, orang-orang uh, 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 seni ni uh, should be permitted. Okay, permitted. Permitted maksud dia apa? Permitted ni maksudnya uh, dibenarkan. Okay, so in a, in a way dia maksud dia sebagai macam allowed lah. Okay. Sorry, uh, saya pergi tulis kat tepi ni awak tak nampak. So as if like macam dia nak melambangkan yang permitted ni it adalah allowed. Sorry. Uh, very bad hand drawing, uh, handwriting. Okay, uh, awak faham eh maksud dia adalah allowed. Okay, in a way we're talking about something yang dibenarkan. Kalau kita permitted something, benda tu adalah benda yang dibenarkan. Okay, so kita continue. Um, to express their creativity in any way they please. Okay, ikut kepada uh, kesesuaian atau benda yang dia suka lah. Maksudnya tak semestinya kepada benda yang terhad. Dia tak tertutup, dia nak terbuka benda tu. Okay. Um, and they should have the opportunity and they should have the opportunity to exhibit their work in all environment. Okay, apa maksud ni? Dia kata mereka perlu ada peluang untuk exhibit. Exhibit ni maksudnya kita pamerkan. Dia pamerkan hasil kerja mereka dalam environment atau persekitaran yang berpelbagai. Okay, mungkin dalam art gallery, mungkin di luar, mungkin di pantai or those kind of thing lah. Okay, we, we have not yet sure. Okay, we, have, we are not yet sure about that. Okay, kita sambung the next paragraph. The desire for artistic freedom gave rise to a form of art called installation art. Okay, desire. Desire ni maksud dia keinginan lah. Okay, uh, keinginan somebody artistic freedom. Okay, artistic freedom adalah kebebasan untuk mereka berseni. Okay, kebebasan untuk mereka berseni. Artistic freedom ni. Give rise. Okay, me, 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 kata meng, menghasilkan atau meningkatkan. Okay, rise. Peningkatan kan? To a form of art, okay, satu jenis uh, seni yang dinamakan sebagai installation arts, okay, yang dinamakan sebagai installation arts, which first became popular in the late 1960s, ya, okay, diglamorkan pada tahun 1960-an. So meaning to say, installation art is not something new. So now we are in 20, 2021. So more like more than 40 years, okay, like more than 40 years, like. 60, 70, 70, 80, 90, 20. Yeah, 50 years lah. 50 years, okay? Now, the primary goal. Okay, now we're talking primary goal. Primary maksudnya utama. Primary, yang nombor satu. Primary. Goal adalah tujuan dia. So, of installation art is to change the viewer's perception of space. Okay, now dia kata the idea yang dia nak identify adalah dia nak change the viewer's perception of space. Apa maksud dia? Change the viewer's perception of space. Space adalah ruang. Okay, space adalah ruang. So, here dia nak cakap, dia nak ubah uh, persepsi atau pandangan, cara kita pandang uh, sesuatu ruang. Okay, dia nak suruh kita ubah pemandangan pandangan kita tentang sesuatu ruang. Okay, by transforming by transforming the ordinary into something quite extraordinary. Okay. Ordinary maksud dia biasa. Okay. Benda yang biasa saja. Okay. Extraordinary lebih daripada biasa. Benda yang kita jarang jumpa lah. Extraordinary. Okay. Installation artist. Sorry. Installation artist maksudnya penggiat-penggiat um, seni ni. Yang installation artist ni. Okay. Use a wide range of materials. Materials maksud dia bahan to create their work untuk menghasilkan kerja mereka hasil hasil kerja mereka lah from sticks and foam to chairs and cars okay daripada stick daripada kayu-kayu kecil stick stick okay stick stick and foam foam adalah macam uh, kapas ke uh, bukan kapas what do you call that 
uh, uh, benda yang mampat tu macam boleh terapung tu okay yang foam tu and then to chest kerusi and cast so meaning to say insulation art ni dia boleh pakai banyak jenis materials materials dia tak tak terong kata apa tak terhad you don't only use colors okay you can use materials like different materials to actually create installation art okay um sambung installation art oh sorry um uh, but they also reject the traditional but they also reject apa maksud reject reject maksud dia dia tolak dia reject meaning dia tolak lah benda tu Uh, the traditional idea that art is only visual okay they reject the idea yang traditional idea ni arts ni adalah benda yang visual sahaja okay seni ni hanyalah benda yang visual visual means that benda yang kita boleh nampak sahaja okay they tolak this idea they, they reject this idea and people who experience their artwork often have to use a variety of senses like hearing touch and also smells so kita ada uh, senses we have senses then actually we have a lot of senses kan so normally we will say that we have five senses kan okay normally we say that we have five senses so we have like obviously our sight our hearing our taste our touch Okay, so the five senses, itu yang kita biasa guna dan normally orang kata kalau kita cakap pasal art, kita hanya guna kita punya eyes sahaja. But no, dekat sini dia kata a variety senses. Okay, kita pakai senses yang variety. Dia kata variety. Okay, kita pakai variety senses. Something sometimes kita akan guna hearing, pendengaran kita. And then kita guna touch, sentuhan kita. And also kita sometimes guna bau. Okay, sometimes yang kita guna bau. Now, kita sambung perenggan yang ke tiga In 2003 the main hall of the Tate Modern in uh, Tate Modern in London artist Oliver Elason installed El Elas Elason is it I'm not sure I'm so sorry okay if i pronounce the name wrongly you can tell me on the chat box okay um uh sorry where is it ah uh, install a grow glowing sun and an enormous mirror on the ceiling okay now we are talking about some of the example of installation arts okay daripada tahun 2003 dekat main hall of uh, Tate Modern London so probably this is a place okay Tate Modern London this artist named Oliver Ellison Ellison I'm not sure I'm so sorry if I pronounce it wrongly install okay meng, meng, meng install maksudnya meng, meng, What do you call install? Like normally we also use install in Bahasa, right? Like in our daily uh, conversation, uh, install. Kita masuk lah, kita buat lah. Okay, kita letak benda tu. Install a glowing sun. Sun adalah matahari glow. Okay, yang glow, yang uh, bercahaya lah. And an enormous. Enormous means uh, besar, gigantic. Okay, mirror, cermin on the ceiling. Okay. So maksudnya atas ceiling tu dia letak mirror and also this glowing sun, okay? The room was also filled with a mist made of sugar and water. Wow, interesting. So dalam room tu, bilik tu juga, dia uh, dipenuhi dengan mist. Maksudnya macam kabus-kabus tu. Macam kabus-kabus putih-putih tu kan? Okay, pada pagi kita nampak kabus-kabus tu mist lah in a way. Okay, made of sugar and water yang dihasilkan daripada uh, gula dan juga air. The installation are uh, the installation was called the weather project. Wow. Okay. This is the weather project that we uh, uh, seen just now. Okay. On on our uh, in our textbook like the picture. Okay. So it's it is called the weather project. And if you had visited the Tate Modern at that at the time, kalau kita pergi pada tahun tu, pada uh, kat tempat tu pada tahun tu lah, you would have seen many visitors lying on the floor and looking up at their reflection on the ceiling. So here, it's very interesting how a person appreciate art. Okay, bukan hanya tengok dekat dinding, like, uh, you know, benda gambar tertampal kan, yang kita tengok and kita appreciate the arts. Kita menghargai uh, seni itu. Tetapi this one, visitors, pelawat, lying on the floor. Lying maksudnya kita uh, macam baring lah. Baring atas lantai and looking up at their reflection on the ceiling. Maksudnya lepas tu, 
tengok. Tengok dia punya pantulan dia. Pantulan bat, muka dia lah. The reflection, okay. Uh, dekat atas ceiling. Okay, dia nampak. So, this is very, very interesting. Okay, kita sambung perangkat yang seterusnya. Sometimes, artists are asked to stage their installation in public areas. Okay, stage maksudnya persembahkan lah. Stage maksudnya kita sediakan tempat tu, kita letak benda yang sepatutnya tu, kita susun benda tu, kita stage benda tu. Okay, so stage their installation in public areas. Sometimes, dia akan diminta untuk... Uh, Letak benda ni, hasilkan atau uh, tunjukkan benda ni di tempat-tempat awam. Public areas. Okay. These are known as public arts. Ini dikenali sebagai uh, apa kata uh, hasil seni un, uh, umum, public. Okay. The traffic light trees in 1998. Okay. Ini nama yang kita tengok di this one. Okay. The one that we see just now. Okay. The traffic light trees 1998 by French sculptor Pierre Vivant. Okay, I'm not sure how I pronounce it right or wrong, so sorry. It's a famous example, okay? A famous example of um, um, public arts, okay? A famous example of public art and last traffic light training, okay? Uh, this unusual tree-like structure stands 8 meter tall, okay? Uh, unusual structure. Structure ni, struktur yang uh, pelik ni, Uh, unusual. Unusual benda benda yang kita jarang nampak. Usual benda biasa. Unusual benda yang tak biasa. Okay. So, uh, like tree structure stand 8 meter tall. Okay. Maksudnya, 8 meter maksudnya 8 meter tinggi and features 70, sorry, 75 sets of blinking traffic lights. So, dekat uh, pokok tu, dia ada, uh, dia ada 75, 70, <coughs> sorry, 75 Sets of blinking traffic lights. Meaning to say blinking, dia berkelip-kelip lah. Meaning to say all the uh, red, blue, uh, sorry, eh, red, green and yellow uh, uh, color on the traffic light, like uh, keep blinking, I guess, probably. Okay. Um, the tree is situated in, uh, sorry, the tree is situated in Canary Wharf, one of London main financial center. Okay. Dekat London ni, dekat tempat ni. Benda tu, hasil kerja tu, the sculpture tu diletak di situ. And its flashing lights are intended to represent the energy and rhythm of the surrounding area. So, tujuan uh, di sculpture ni, uh, orang kata apa, hasilkan benda ni adalah untuk apa? Dia kata, uh, intended to represent the energy and rhythm of the... Oh my god, what... Okay, the rhythm of the surrounding area. Maksudnya, dia nak, uh, has in, uh, tujuan dia, uh, sorry, tujuan dia adalah untuk um, mewakili ataupun untuk menunjukkan uh, tenaga dan juga rhythm. Hmm, maksudnya nada, maksudnya nada area uh, seke sekeliling. Maksudnya kita boleh nampak kesibukan dia, those kind of thing lah. Okay, di London. Okay, kita sambung perenggan yang seterusnya. We have another last uh, three paragraph kan. Okay, installation artists often use installation artists often use their work of art to convey a message. So meaning to say, this installation artist dia akan ada niat. Dia buat arts dia untuk convey message, untuk sampaikan. Convey means menyampaikan satu message. Okay, in 2009, Brazilian artist Nel Azevedo, I'm so sorry if I pronounce it wrongly, Created an installation called Melting Men. Okay, ini nama yang ni, yang ni. This one. Melting Men. Okay. The aim, okay. apa tujuan dia create this uh, art adalah of the installation was to draw attention to the destructive impact of global warming on our environment. Okay, this is very, very interesting. We are talking about global warming. Kita bercakap pasal pemanasan global lah. Okay, pemanasan global. Dia kata dia nak draw attention untuk menarik perhatian orang berkenaan dengan destruktif, kemusnahan, kesan-kesan atau impak-impak kemusnahan daripada global warming kepada awak punya, kepada kita punya alam sekitar lah, persekitaran. Melting man consisted, okay, dihasilkanlah apa yang ada of a thousand, of a thousand little men made of ice. So, dihasilkan daripada dia, orang kata apa, uh, bukan dihasilkan daripada, tapi uh, apa yang ada dalam melting man ni adalah consistent apa yang ada. So, uh, thousand little men. So, 
ada seribu orang-orang kecil ni yang dihasilkan daripada ice. Yang dihasilkan daripada ice. Which are Zevedo play sitting on the steps of a Berlin concert hall. So mana dia letak? Dia letak dekat ada tangga-tangga step-steps tu. Dekat concert hall. Dekat Berlin. Okay, dekat concert hall di Berlin. Uh, only to be turned into a puddle a while later. Puddle means that lupa air. Obviously. Okay, because of the heat kepanasan tu. The ice are going to be, uh, is going to melt. So, dia akan cair lah. Dan akan jadi puddle. Sorry. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. Akan jadi puddle. Um, a while later. Okay. A while. Sekejap je. And then terus akan jadi puddle lah. Okay. Their rapid disappearance serving as a warming. Uh, sorry. A warning to humanity. Maksudnya. Rapid disappearance. Rapid maksudnya sangat pantas. Disappearance ke kehilangan tu lah. Maksudnya cair kan. So hilang lah the little man tu kan. Serving as a warning to humanity. Meng, orang kata apa? Dia sebenarnya tujuan dia adalah untuk bagi warning kepada uh, rakyat lah. Satu macam uh, masyarakat dunia. Okay. The melting man installation has seen been exhibited in a number of cities. So meaning to say bukan hanya di Berlin. So dia dah di exhibit kan. Di, uh, dipamerkan di uh, banyak bandar. Okay. Including Paris, Florence, Havana and Sao Paulo. Okay. So those are uh, the three yang kita kata installation art study. Okay, since 2006, anonymous. Anonymous means that orang yang uh, kita tak tahu siapa. Orang yang uh, uh, somebody yang orang kata apa, anonymous. Kita tak tahu. We don't know this person. Okay, anonymous artists in Melbourne, Australia. So the Australia have been delighting the locals with their imaginative create man installation. Okay, uh, sorry, create man. So The local uh, dekat Australia ni dia delighting, me, me, menggembirakan. Dia suka lah, delight, menggembirakan. So benda yang oh, orang suka. Local penduduk tempatan uh, with their imaginative dengan uh, imaginasi create man. Okay, installation lah, arts lah. Okay, uh, as the name implies, create man are figures made entirely from brightly color, colored milk crates. Okay. Dihasilkan daripada uh, milk crates uh, yang berwarna-warni. Okay, uh, this comical creation have uh, have appeared at various local across the city. Maksudnya uh, creation ni dah nampak kita boleh nampak dekat banyak-banyak tempat lah. Okay, uh, di sekeliling bandar. One was a uh, found fishing beside a creek. Ada setengah tu uh, gambar tu menunjukkan uh, tengah memancing. Okay. Another was discovered climbing a fence. Ada yang tengah memanjat uh, pagar. And one particularly impressive installation featured two crate men climbing a skyscraper. Ada crate men yang tengah nak panjat uh, apa kata hmm, pencakar langit like uh, skyscraper. Maksudnya bangunan yang very high lah, very tall. Okay, like it or hate it. Installation art is here to stay and will no doubt continue to surprise and entertain us for years to come. So dia kata installation art ni here to stay. Dia akan dia akan here to stay. Dia, dia bukan orang kata come and go. Dia akan kekal. Orang akan continue mencipta atau menghasilkan installation arts. Dan no doubt tanpa ragu-ragu continue to surprise akan um, orang kata apa sorry um, akan um, Terus membuatkan kita terkejut okay, dan juga terhibur lah for years to come. Meaning to say uh, untuk tahun-tahun yang akan datang. So we set, we are settled with the reading part. So saya dah uh, discuss dengan awak the reading part. Okay so forgot. This one obviously the answer would be this one right. To educate the reader about the installation. Uh, so we are done with the reading part. Now let's go to the question part. Okay, what I want you guys to do or to answer is question C, question D, okay, and question E in a, a live worksheet. Okay, so I will not be reading you the question. Uh, I hope you guys can try to answer and try to look for the definition of the words in a uh, dictionary you have online dictionary you have your own mobile dictionary or your physical dictionary up to you lah okay so please uh, 
go to live worksheet. Okay, please go to live worksheet and I'm going to share you. Okay, live worksheet. And I'm going to share you the link after afterwards and try to answer question C, D and E. Okay, for question E, okay, I will leave you a blank here. And what I want you to do is you try to write uh, your idea. What do you think uh, your idea with? Like, okay, for question, uh, the first one, right? Which of the installation mentioned in the text appeal to you the most and why? Appeal maksudnya uh, benda yang uh, menarik perhatian awak. Yang mana yang awak suka lah. Okay, bagi tahu reason. Bagi tahu mana satu, antara tiga tu tadi, and then bagi tahu mana satu. And then, number two tu, would you like to visit some of the installation art? Okay, awak nak tak visit melawat uh, installation art ni? Okay, why atau why not? Kalau awak kata yes, uh, awak bagi why. Kalau awak kata no pun, awak bagi tahu why. Okay, so try to answer A, uh, question C, obviously A, B, C. And then question D, try to find the word dekat dalam teks yang kita ada tadi. Okay, this text. Okay, try to find the words from the text. Okay, um, so I think that's all for my reading for today. I hope you guys learn something because obviously I I do learn something from um, this uh, reading and I'm quite interested with uh, installation art. I would, uh, I would like you guys to also go and try to search for more installation arts that you can find. Probably uh, we do have installation art in Malaysia. Okay, I think that's all. Or like we do have in Langkawi, right? Like the upside down kind of thing. So I think that's all for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. I'll see you again in our next lesson. Thank you so much. Bye. Assalamualaikum.